How you guys? I want to get on here and get reaction to the actual video that surfing scene as far as the uh, Fry family and Love by Erica. Basically, Love by Erica is getting a lot of flack because everybody is basically giving her the side eye about the fact that she actually now doesn't have but one child. Um, the controversy is that a lot of people are saying that they think that she basically lied all along about having the twins. My thing is, I don't really think that she lied per se, but I will say this. I think that she's a cloud chaser. I think she basically got with this man to be what she's always wanted to be. You be a YouTuber. I think she got with him for clout. And most importantly, I think that um, the, she did it to get trying to get her get close to the Prince family. I don't really think that she really liked, loved this man like she's pretending. I watched her from the beginning, from day one. And most importantly, I paid attention to her when she was actually going through the quote-unquote breakup with him. And she actually went live and exposed him. My thing is... Um, if she did, ah, uh, baby, uh, 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 if she did decide that she wanted to lie about the baby, she will get her karma for that. But I don't want to bash anybody while they're down because a lot can happen. She go to postpartum or anything like that. But um, yeah, I had to get on here and get my reaction. I also saw the video of the print, the Cry family, where he also got on there and gave his uh, quote unquote video about how he felt about it. My thing is, I think that this man actually. He's to the point where he's looking at the fact that he's gotten her pregnant and he's coming to reality. Now he's saying that he wants a DNA, which he has every right to have. And I think it's the best thing he could have ever did and said. My thing is why they always bring it to YouTube when they should be talking to each other. She, Love by Erica got on her platform basically was saying that she's tired of people coming for her saying that she's lying about her kids when she knows she wasn't and she also said that she told him in the beginning that she was pregnant and she also showed him the ultrasound but the thing that has everybody giving her the side eye they are like now if you knew you had lost a twin why you didn't say nothing and other people are also saying they think that she did it to get extra clothes but really what gave me the side eye with her is the fact that she still hadn't met the Prince family and most importantly the son is, is quote unquote almost trying to expose her because he got in her live and he was basically commenting. My thing is, I think they all are seeing Erica for who she is, a clout chaser. Uh, There's nothing wrong with her getting on her platform and, and showing her baby and telling her side. But my thing is, if you're going to be a clout chaser, own it. Now, I think that the, the dad is, is really coming to fruition and seeing that he, he, he really quote unquote messed up because at the end of the day, a lot of people asking him why would he even be dealing with someone her age. Uh, and most importantly, slip up and got her pregnant. He knew better. But um, we're going to see how this thing pans out and see whether or not they'll be together, however. But um, my thing is, um, she's making it seem like he, he didn't want to be there for her in, in the, at the end, meaning like be there at her doctor's appointment. He actually went live from the parking lot saying he was there. He actually cut the umbilical cord. My thing is she's trying to make this man look like something he's not. She did it when they were broken up. But my thing is it really made me get a side eye when she all of a sudden was making videos with him. Not even maybe a month, maybe two months later. And now all of a sudden she to the point where she actually quote unquote saying that he back bashing him again. If he's all these things you're saying that he are and he is, then I, I don't understand why you call yourself trying to get back with him and start back making videos like nothing happened. Now, hoping they'll learn to be grown and co-parent for the sake of the kid. Because the kid didn't ask to be here. But as far as I'm concerned, yes, Erica is a cloud chaser. But I don't think she lied about the other baby. I think she maybe had vanishing baby syndrome or however they call it. But one of the babies, uh, well, they say vanished. This is new to me. I didn't know nothing about that myself. But I don't think she was stupid that low to lie about a baby. But I uh, actually do think that's Mr. Cry's baby. I think he's just in denial. He wishing it wasn't his baby. Because, you know, he got to deal with this woman for the next 18 years. But um, he got on his platform and he basically gave his reaction, cut and dry. And my reaction to it was that I was shaking my head because I said, Mr. Cry, you knew better. You knew how this woman was. And most importantly, you should have been wearing protection. Because at the end of the day, you are way older than her. You, you, you are two times her age almost. So you should have known that something like that could happen you actually have another son by the name of darian so your baby making days should have been over that's not something you wanted to do now everything is fine and then like i always say why they was making the baby but now he's to the point where he's reality is setting in now according to him if the baby's his, he has no problem taking care of that baby which i believe he would do that but uh he probably saying in the back of mind he wish he hadn't had it with her probably because she's gonna bring a lot of drama to him and it's not gonna be good drama 
Now, everybody's telling her that maybe she should just not even worry about it and don't give no type of opinion. Most important, don't comment about it. My thing is, she needs to address it. Because I was in another one of her lives where she actually was crying after she had the baby. Now, generally, I think she actually was crying because at the end of the day, she probably was, uh, like everybody say, in grief. But I'm hoping she don't have postpartum or something behind this. But I had to get on here and get my knee-jerk reaction let everybody know how I felt. And I had to take a minute before I gave my reaction because I wanted to hear both sides. And most important, I wanted to let it marinate. And I wanted to give an honest, by unbiased opinion. But, yeah, i say it again. I think that she is a clout chaser. Because if you go back to some of her older videos of how she got in, because she was with Emma Vaughn, she actually was uh, a police officer, and now she's not a police officer because she was on there making videos in a whole police car. She wants YouTube fame, and she'll do it at any cost. Now, that part about her, I believe that. But as far as lying about the babies, I don't believe that. I appreciate everybody that subscribed to my channel. The new subscribers, I see you. Future subscribers, I hope you like. And most important, subscribe to this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.